Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an Endeavor OS USB drive and how to install Endeavor OS to your PC. To start off, open a browser and search for Endeavor OS in Google. And then you're looking for the first link that says HTTPS um, EndeavorOS.com. Endeavor OS describes itself as a terminal-centric distro with a vibrant and friendly community at its core. The website for Endeavor OS says there is an easy-to-use installer, which you'll see shortly. Uh, there are also eight different desktops that you can choose from and five community editions that you can choose from. From the top of the Endeavor OS webpage, click Download and Help, and then click on the installation link. I found the web page here to be fairly wordy. Uh, what it's basically saying is you can install an offline version which gives you the XFCE desktop by default or you can use the live version which means you need to be connected to the internet and then you can choose whichever desktop environment that you, you so wish to choose. Essentially what you want to do is scroll all the way to the bottom of the page until you see the download here links and then click on the ISO download closest to you. In my case it was Germany even though I'm in the UK. When you click the link, you'll see the ISO image start to download in the bottom left corner of your browser. Normally for creating a USB drive, I use Etcher. Uh, Endeavor recommend not using Etcher, so for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to use the method that they describe. So scroll to the top of the web page, click on download and help, and then on installation. At the top of this uh, video, you'll see a link to a tutorial showing you how to use Etcher to create a USB drive. You can use Etcher, and the reason I normally use Etcher is that it's available for both Windows and Linux, so it doesn't matter uh, which operating system you're using, you can create a USB drive using Etcher. Scroll down the page until you see the section which says Create Install Media, and then click on the Read More link. This web page shows you various ways to create a live USB drive of Endeavor OS using either Windows or Linux. This page has a warning which says they don't recommend using Etcher um, as there are privacy concerns. Uh, apparently it's anonymously reporting errors and usage information. Um, it's not clear if this is true or not. Personally, uh, I've used Etcher for a long time. It doesn't actually ask for any personal details when you're using it, so I'm still happy to use it. And I recommend using Etcher, but for this video, um, we're going to create a live USB as if we're using Windows. So scroll down to the Create Live USB from Windows link. Click on the SourceForge link for USB Writer for Windows. When SourceForge loads, click on the download link. A small countdown timer will start and then after 4 or 5 seconds you'll see that the USB writer will download in the bottom left hand corner. When the USB writer is finished downloading and the Endeavor OS ISO is also finished downloading, we can start creating the USB key. Open Windows Explorer, navigate to your downloads folder and then double click on the USB writer icon. When the folder opens, double click on the USB writer icon and then click Run. The USB writer is very easy to use. Click on the top browse icon, navigate to your downloads folder and click the Endeavor OS ISO image you downloaded previously. Make sure the USB drive that you want to write Endeavor to is inserted into your computer. Then click on the download link and choose that USB drive. Click on the Write button to write the Endeavor OS to the USB drive. Note a warning will appear asking whether you're sure. All data on the drive will be removed if you click yes. If you're happy to write Endeavor OS to the USB drive, press the yes button. A progress bar shows how far through the installation you are. At this point it's worth mentioning that you should back up all of your files and your Windows operating system if you're using Windows um, uh, before you try to install Endeavor OS because it will remove all data and all operating systems from your hard drive. Uh, a link above shows you a video showing you how I would um, go about backing up my Windows operating system and all the files. 
a message will appear if the installation has been successful. You can now close uh, the disk utility and you can reboot your computer and then press the relevant function key to bring up the boot menu. This differs from manufacturer to manufacturer. Uh, you can look online to see which one works for you. When the boot menu appears, select your USB drive using the arrow keys and then press the return key. The Endeavour menu will now appear. Select the first option by pressing the return key. You should now boot into the Endeavour live environment, uh, which is using the XFCE desktop, but that's not overly important because all we're going to do is run the installer. To begin the installation, click the Start the Installer button on the welcome screen. There are two versions available. You can either do an online install or an offline install. If you haven't got an internet connection, use the offline install and you'll get the XFCE desktop version of Endeavour installed. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the online version so that uh, you can see all the different desktops that are available. Uh, in this instance, we'll be installing the KDE version. When the Endeavour installation screen appears, you can choose your installation language using the drop-down provided. The installer shows each of the steps down the left hand side, so it starts off with the welcome, then location, keyboard, desktop, packages, the bootloader, partitions, users, summary, install and then finish. So once you press next, the location screen will appear where you can pick your time zone. Choose your location on the map, then click next, where you will then be able to choose your keyboard layout. You can now choose from eight different desktops, XFCE, i3, Plasma KDE, GNOME, Cinnamon, Mate, Budgie, LXDE and LXQT. For this tutorial, I'm going to choose Plasma KDE. Click Next and you should see a list of packages appear. By default, um, it's recommended that you leave the top three selected. Uh, then you'll see the one for the desktop you've chosen. In theory, you can choose more than one desktop if you want more than one. Uh, at the bottom, you've got print and support and support for HP printers and scanners and accessibility tools. Choose your options and then click Next. I do have a HP printer, so I've clicked both printing support and support for HP printers and scanners. You can now choose your bootloader options. By default, System D is the selected one and the recommended one. Uh, you can use a Grub uh, bootloader if you're using PTRFS support or you need a smaller EFI partition and you can choose no bootloader at all, but this is not recommended. Make your choice and then click Next. The next screen shows you the partitions and these differ depending on what's already installed on your computer. If you already have an operating system, you can install alongside it. You can either re you can replace the partition, you can erase the disk and install a fresh copy of Endeavor OS with no other operating systems available. Or you can choose manual partitioning where you can choose your own options. For this tutorial, I'm going to erase the disk and make Endeavor the only operating system on the computer. As mentioned earlier, you should make sure that your backups are all valid and that all your files are securely backed up. Uh, any of these options for installing partitions or replacing partitions could wipe data without knowing it. It's definitely worth making sure you have a backup. The next screen enables you to set up your user. So uh, enter your full name, uh, create a username, give your computer a name, and then choose a password and repeat that password. You can choose whether to log in automatically or not, and you can choose whether the uh, password is f the same for the administrator account as the user account. If you uncheck the box, then it will enable you to enter a different administrator password if you so wish. When you're finished, click Next. You will now see a summary screen uh, with all the details of what's going to happen. Uh, click Install and a warning will appear saying that this is your very last opportunity. Um, to go back. If you are unsure, click the Go Back button, but if you're sure you want to continue, click Install Now. The installation will now begin. This can take some time, especially if you're choosing the online option as it has to download all the files required. Uh, take this opportunity, go and get a drink, come back in about 20 to 30 minutes, and then the installation should be complete. Okay, so I'm not going to make you watch uh, the installation of Endeavor on my PC. Uh, to quote Rizzle Kicks, let's skip to the best bit. Yes, I did just quote Whistle kicks. You should now see the words all done once the installation is complete. You can check the box that says restart now and click done. This will reboot your computer and you should get to the Endeavor Grub menu. To boot into Endeavor, simply press return 
on the first option or wait five seconds and it will boot automatically. Finally, all you have to do now is enter your password at the login screen and Endeavour should load. That is the end of the video. In the next video, I'll be doing a full review of Endeavour OS. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from everyday Linux user, please click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.